A more than 300 mile hike from the upstate to the low country is now complete. Hikers arrived at the Charleston Visitors Bureau in the past 30 minutes. News News Riley Benson joins us live from that area. And Riley, a ceremony tonight will welcome them to the Holy City. Yeah, Brendan, this is the second annual South Carolina 7 expedition starting in the mountains, finishing here on the coast. Now, hikers spent the last month making the journey, identifying ways to better protect the ecosystem from harsh weather for years to come. Now, the group traveled the state hiking, rafting, kayaking, and scuba diving while searching for better ways to protect the state's environment. The initiative was started last year when Governor Henry McMaster tapped retired Major General Thomas Malkin in to lead the mission through his Floodwater Commission. The group has participated in other events across the state, planting more than 3 million trees. Malkinen says three of the biggest issues, nuisance flooding, coastal erosion, and flooding from North Carolina are what the group is focused on. He's hopeful more people will get involved next year. We're raising awareness of the things that we can do to protect our state from the, from the flooding and extreme weather that we've seen. So we're picking up the trash. We had four cleanups along the way, excited about working with Palmetto Pride and our own South Carolina Aquarium and others invested in that particular issue, but also the trail. Now, several elected officials, including Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg, Mount Pleasant Mayor Wilhaney, and others are on hand. They're expected to see a showing of a documentary film based on last year's South Carolina 7 expedition. Malkadin will then present Medal of Honor recipient Major General James Livingston with an award for his contributions to wrap up the more than 300-mile journey here to the Lowcountry. That's expected to happen at 645. Now reporting live in downtown Charleston, Raleigh Benson, Count on 2.